What's going on guys, it's your boy j Ro, the ball player here, and I'm back with a brand new video, bringing you guys my bat, baseball bat collection update. This is the wood models, all my wood bats that I have. And these are the ones that I use for this past chopper ball season. These are all the bats, I'm gonna give you a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine bats here. Some of them old, well, a lot of them are old. But start off with each individual bat, and I'm gonna give you guys a backstory about the bat and how did I get okay, it. Okay, first up, we got my Louisville Pro Select Genuine Pro, yeah, Genuine Pro Select Louisville Slugger. Power eyes, pine tar, a little tape for that extra grip. This is 32 inch bat. This is one of my game bats that I use right now. Um, I was It was given to me by a Cubs scout for the Chicago Cubs. He gave it to me at one of his practice facilities that I was using one of my broken bats. He saw that. He gave me a brand new one. Thank you. Shout out. Second bat I have is a Rawlings D-Lo wood composite. This was given to me by one of my good friends and one of my old teammates. He graduated from my high school. Play a travel ball with him too. Um, his name was Antoine. Real fast. He in college now. He ran a six four six. His last sixty was a six three. He's one of the fastest guys in Chicago. Those of you are wondering, we I live in Chicago, South Side. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, I I hit one ball n nice with this at UIC inside. I don't know. I thought that was just real nice for good swing, I guess. So I put it on a video, which is like lefty slow-mo or something. Okay, now this bat, I just recently got this bat from a friend of mine named BJ, one of my travel ball teammates. Uh, he actually broke my Marucci AP5. I had a, like, a white it was one. a white one, just like this black one, but it was the tan on the barrel, and it was black on the handle. This one's the opposite. And he broke that one in the game when I let him use it. And now he gave me this in place to make that up. And it's a Wildcats 2012 model 243 Viper Bats, 33 inch. Nice. Big barrel. I mean, like the barrel on this is huge. I don't know. I don't know. But it's kind of big, not too top heavy, kind of balanced for the, how big the barrel is. Decent wood. Okay, now the fourth, fifth bat is my Pro Birch DBK9. Uh, I think this is from Diamond Bats. No, D Bat. This is D Bat. It's a 33 and a half. Um, it's pretty decent. I hit a lot with this last summer. Kind of old now. One of my coaches gave it to me. One of my travel ball team coaches, Jeff Lattimore. Shout out to Jeff. Now, this bat is a 34-inch. This was a pro. This is a some uh, a White Sox guy gave it to a friend of mine who was in the Little League World Series. And he got a lot of stuff and a lot of bats and stuff from a lot of pro players MLB guys and um, it's so old that you can see right here the barrel is breaking so I just taped it up and I use it for practice this is 34 inch I traded I traded my friend Darion some shoes for this bat I really liked it some um, infrared sixes Jordans and this is an MLB Pro bat. This is an Ash MLB Prime Louisville Slugger C271 Power Rise, all black, 34 inch, well used. This is actually not my bat. This is a friend of mine named Darion. I, he just left it at my house when he came over here. He told me to watch it for him. This is the 34 inch. And it's a C271. That's a stamp. I don't know what that is, but yeah. Ash bat. And y'all probably was looking at this glove. This is my glove I got from EDI. Uh, my guy Kendu, he gave it to me. 
It was brand new when he gave it to me. It's fully broken in now. Hard of the high. Blue laces match my high school team. It's 12.75, 12, 12 and three quarters for the professional player, hard of the high. White tape right here and white tape right here so I can have long laces. I'll be explaining everything about this glove in the, in the upcoming video. I'll do a review and an update. And yeah, this is my game glove now, fully broken in. One second. I'm doing three in the pinky with this. Shout out to Byron Buxton and Isaiah Coupe. I like three in the pinky better because it's easier to close. And when you close, it's like more there and instead of there, you know. So I guess it just take more of the barrel and J Row approved. J Row approved is my insignia. If you guys use it, tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is the J Row. And you guys have a nice day. I got this from EDI in Florida. They uh, it was broken. Somebody broke it on the barrel, and I know what I do with, with broken bats, like that one. I just tape the barrels up, or I put a nail in it so it won't break no more. And I use these in batting practice or like pitching machines and stuff, so I don't break my good bats like these two. These are my two game bats, by the way. Two, they both thirty twos. I don't know why, I just feel more comfortable with 32. I get more hits with 32s. And I'm like 6'2", almost 6'3". But, I mean, I still use a 32. But if I use a 33 in the game, I'll choke up. Like, I had a Marucci, but I broke that one in the game. My last chopper ball game before fall ball, I broke that one. And, uh, oh, finish story for that bat. I just found it. In the trash can at EDI, somebody was throwing it away because it was broken. I just take, taped the barrel and I took it home. Nobody's going to miss it because it's, bro it's broke already. So I still can use it for batting practice and the tape will help it from breaking again. And this is a Rawlings. I think it's a... Um, I taped the barrel because it broke. I got this from... I got this from EDI in Florida. This is my Carl Crawford. I also got this from Darion, the guy in the Little League World Series. That's his bat now. I'm just keeping it for him, but this is a Carl Crawford I got from him. 34-inch Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, I probably will never use it, or I'm going to use it a lot, depending on just because of whose bat it is and... um what it means to me it was given to me by a friend of mine and I don't give away stuff that's given to me. I think this is a player edition bat. Uh, it's a C271, so that means it's probably Ash. Probably Ash bat, Louisville Slugger, Power Rise. Basically the same thing, most likely. It's just that one's just newer, probably. And this is a player edition. This is an Ash MLB Prime, Louisville Slugger. C two seventy one power eyes all black thirty four inch well used. This is actually not my bat. This is a friend of mine named Darion. I he just left it at my house when he came over here. He told me to watch it for him. This is the thirty four inch, and it's a C two seventy one. That's a stamp. I don't know what that is, but yeah. Ash bat. 